you guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. For today's video, Chloe. <laughs> Jesus, pretty much you let them know what we're doing today, guys. Uh, video, uh, Chloe. I'm breaking it all over the place today, what? Yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Today, we are gonna be turning a turd into a diamond. And we're gonna make it, we're gonna be making that diamond glossy. I can't stop moving, you got your fucking fingernail in my eye. Oh my. And we're gonna be making that diamond glossy using this shit. What is it called? Ceramic coating. First thing we've got to do is move my car out the driver. It's looking absolutely glossy as hell. <laughs> Right, anyway, let's now move the car in. I feel like it's gonna blow me away. So we've rinsed off the car, we've just, just pre washing the wheels and everything. Now we've got some iron fallout remover. This will get all, all of the uh, embedded metals, I think. Yeah, this is the one that turns purple and it smells a little bit. Filming with Chloe is honestly one of the most painful experiences I've ever had in my entire life. Like, literally. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> what is it? Well done, mate. Well done. Perfect. I feel fully. Basically, I spray painted my wheel purple. As you can see, I didn't do a very good Look, job, but you know. It looks like, like your car has literally been stamped. Oh. Right, so inside here, Chloe, is like a degreaser and wax and wax stripper. I don't know how well it works, but it's this clean it's slate kind of stuff. It is kind of snow foam, but not really. Disconnect and reconnect. Don't squeeze it. What are you doing? Why are you squeezing it? The, why would it cut attached here? <laughs> Put the safety on it. God, that's like a child safety. <laughs> I'm gonna push it in. Okay. Then it was snow foaming time. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why are you holding it like that? Why do you look like you're about to murder someone? Yeah, so what are you doing now, mate? I'm just getting all the intricate bits. Yeah, all the bits that... Why? Not so hard, you're gonna scratch it. So all around the badges, yeah? All around the badges here. Right, Cindy's looking clean already, but pretty much now it's the contact wash. Hopefully all of this water will be like flat instead of beading. Because we want flat paint, we don't want beading paint. This shows that there's still protection on it, so not good, Chloe, not good. Yeah, we don't want that. Chloe then gave the Citroen C1 a contact wash with a clean slate to get off as much dirt and of the old wax off the car as possible. Paint is actually looking 10 times better. As you guys can see, it's now not beading as much, um, which means hopefully that clear slate has actually worked a little bit. I feel like it's worked quite well. I think Chloe's bored and tired, so... I'm fine, but I just get, like, my arms ache. Anyway, pretty much, I'm going to do the clay bar in. I don't think you're going to like oh, that. Oh, fuck that. That takes forever. I'm going to do the clay bar in, and then we're going to hop on to polishing. And I want you to at least do one panel. Yeah, I Oh, my God! This is like a full-time job! Yeah, it's something you've never had. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I actually bought myself a new dual action polisher. When I actually polished my own Scirocco, I actually used a rotary polisher, which basically is a nad -a go Literally, I shouldn't have done it. Created a few holograms on the paint, but I then bought this polisher and polished it out and then ceramic coated it. So there's, there might be one or two holograms on my Scirocco right now, but so now I've actually bought this dual action polisher and hopefully Chloe will have a go. She's not too tired. Let's plug this bad boy in. People in the comments are always like, is Chloe always this weird? And I'm like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I read this quote, you only get a little bit of madness. Show it. 
Don't be pussies and not show your madness. Come on. So pretty much, where does that pad go, Claire? Not, <laughs> not like that. Looks like a little donut. It's got a little hole in the middle. Look, it's got a little hole in the middle. Pretty much. Oh, look how perfect that is on. Oh, God. So, I don't think your paintwork is that bad. I think the blue really, really hides all of the scratches. Like, that's what I've noticed about blue cars. You cannot see scratches on it, really. One, two, three, four. Work in our little section. Because your car is so small, this will take us no time. I'm going to do this little bit, but you want to turn it up to halfway close. Which is about three. And then I'm going to go ham. Just... <laughs> Gas with it. Chloe actually noticed the difference, which was really good. Um, pretty much, we spent like what three minutes on that bit. I'm not sure. I feel like, like it's got longer. I feel like it's about four hours. It's because you're so impatient, guy. Chloe's so imp you. You're not good car stuff, and you will never go together because you're so impatient. It's gonna be quite hard to see, but there's a scratch there actually. But if we actually like shine the light, look at the light I'm looking. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's barely any scratch. There's a scratch there. But but if we come around to the other side, you can see that there's so many scratches. I'm not sure you can see no, it come closer, come closer. It looks a little bit the same on the camera. I promise we've done a good job. All right, there's there's the side we just did. No, but you can just see instantly. I don't know if you guys can, but you know. That's what we're trying to get rid of, basically. And then we can ceramic coat it after. Well, would you look at this, guys? Honestly, it's like she's a bloody pro. Look at this. I didn't even need to tell her, and she started dabbing it on, like spreading it about. Oh, jeez. Chloe, I'll give you a 9 out of 10 for that effort. You just want to use... Listen, put your hand there, but no pressure, no pressure. And then just go really slowly back. No, 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 no. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Can you... My hands literally feel like they're dying. <laughs> get our glove that looks really good though guys obviously there are still scratches you can't expect it from like a a light cutting pad like this before we go ahead this is what it looks like so far it's going to be really gleaming look at this scratches mark you know from when you unlock the door but yeah pretty much there's loads of key scratches around here I don't know if you guys can see but I'm gonna try and get all of these out I'll probably hand polish that at some point later because it looks green okay that's quite good less of a green tinge to that <laughs> actually the ceramic coating I used on my car, G-Technic XR, most unsatisfying looking boxing ever, pop these on straight away. Also in the box you get the ceramic coating and a little applicator thing. I then wiped down the car with this paint cleanser from Easy Car Care and then I applied the ceramic coating to small sections of the car, waited for it to haze up and buff it, it off. off. Da -da. Ceramic coated baby. The next day, because I completely forgot about recording. Sorry. Here is the C1 ceramic coated and everything. <laughs> this, oh my God. It definitely has picked up a little bit of dust sitting out here. But wow, look at that. Something I do like about ceramic coating, ceramic coatings, is if you actually rub your finger over it like this, it's so smooth. Oh, it's so smooth to touch. 
But yeah, here is the C1 right now. Look at that reflection in there. This is why you need a ceramic coating, bad boys. Oh my god, I should have ceramic coated in here. Because obviously, this is quite unique. It's actually fucking lit how they have this in here. Like, it's actually so unique how they have, like, the paint actually showing in the car. Probably less unique, but more cost effective. Because <laughs> obviously, you've got less trims. But that's really nice. We should have ceramic coated this and it would look really nice. Is there a dead body in this car? Like, somewhere that I don't know. Because literally... There are flies everywhere. I'm actually interested to see if Chloe's gonna see a difference with this car. So this is gonna be the first time you see the car. You've actually got to tell me if you see a difference at all. Cause I said, you might not even see a difference. You can't notice the difference. Guys. No, I know, literally there's Look, so many everywhere. flies. We could have even made it better by giving it a polish after the compound, but... Oh, we ain't got time for that. Yeah, we ain't got time for that. That was, took another Good fucking deal. four hours. I'm actually annoyed at myself, because you can st still see tiny, tiny scratches in the paint. <coughs> Chloe! Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit mad, because in the direct sunlight, you can see, see tiny, tiny scratches. Um, still, a little bit of polish might have... I don't know. Got rid of the finer scratches, I guess. In the rain and everything, the water will just bead and it will all just run off the car. You know? So that's pretty sick. And but now your car is protected. Um, Yay. This ceramic coat will take all the beating instead of your paint, which is good on a 2010 car. Whoever had this car before you really kept it in nice condition. Like they probably kept it in a nice like big tent or something. Yeah, and you can see like it's very glittery as well when you look at it. It's not as good as my car. My car's like really glittery. Like your car is five years older though. No, Five years older, yeah? Five years newer. So excuses, excuses. Set. Yeah, but yours doesn't have central locking, so be quiet. At some point soon, we're going to get new wheels, so we're going to get rid of this shitty bits behind. Yeah, they're disgusting. And we're also going to get bigger one. ones. We're going to get, I think, I think we're going to push it up to 16 inch. Well, we're going to have two stages to the wheels. We're going to get Just like the new alloys, and then we're going to get them re-sprayed at some point later on. Some cool colour or something. Or your colour, that we're not going to say. Colour. This car's just going to be like transformed, just like the Shroffco. Hopefully, it will look really, really nice for you guys. So that is Chloe's Citroen C1 all ceramic coated. Now, guys, no matter what car you have, whether you have a 2004 Ford Fiesta, a Renault Clio, I don't care what it is. If you put the effort into making your cars look good and taking care of them, people will appreciate it. Well, we'll see in the comments. I might get slated for ceramic coating a Citroen Z1. Let me know how you guys think I did on ceramic coating Chloe's car. Let me know if there's any tips or tricks that you guys have. Obviously, I'm not a pro detailer, but I'm learning. But yeah, guys, unfortunately, that is the, the ceramic coating all done. Looks like it went quite well. Yeah, Very I did glossy. a good job there, didn't I? Yep, you did about 1% of the work, so you're a lazy git. Right then, guys, unfortunately, that's the end of today's video, ceramic coating Chloe's car. Um... We'll probably get this wrapped at some point, 100% maybe. What colour? Leave a comment what colour you think we should get. Yeah, it won't be um, until... No, it won't be yet, yeah. So it won't be, it'll be ages. So and... you don't actually have to leave a comment, don't worry about it. I want a really cool colour, like, like lit, like so it looks really sick. Follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff. Follow me on Instagram, chl underscore dot oe. It will just pop on the screen. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow us on Instagram. Nice stuff faces.